When I first met Will, he said, um, I don't know if I'd read the script yet, because he said he'd watched some interviews, and I was like, oh, God. Um, and he said, we're sort of writing the characters to, to you. So even watching it with my mum, she was like, it was so weird, because a couple of times I could see that Cottontail was you, because they filmed us as we were doing it, and the animators did the most extraordinary job. Um, but yeah, I would say that's me. People say that my mind's like a butterfly, like it's sort of all over the place. It doesn't follow one thing. And I sort of feel like that's, that's Cottontail. She really just does her own thing. Like a lot of the time you're like, she could be in another film. <laughs> She's not like, sort of not part of the moment. Um, but then there are, there are obviously the family bits are so together, but also she's just like doing her own thing. I literally said, again, I said yes before I read the script. I was like, if they want me, yes, yes. And then I met Will and I was really excited and quite emotional too, because I really grew up with Beatrix Potter. And I remember being so proud to tell my parents My mum read us all of them and we went to Beatrix Potter World every summer because we did a violin course in the Lake District. So it really is like, yeah, meaningful. It's really fun, it's really moving. There are jokes for kids, there are jokes for adults. At the heart of it, there's a beautiful thing about um, sticking together for love and to do the right thing and um, about family. So it's beautiful. I, th I think, And I think different uh, uh, characters will appeal to different people. I think I've only sort of done family films, as it were. And it's very nice, obviously, my first film being something that's very generational, people passing the love down to daughters and sons and nephews and nieces. Um, so I sort of started off like that, which was a very special thing to be part of. And this is um, very much another one of those moments. I think voice work is tough because some of the time you didn't have the animation and it's so hard imagining what the thing is going to be and what it's going to look like. And also knowing that the cast was really funny and knowing that it was a mainly funny film, I was like, I'm not funny enough to do this. There was, there's a real level of like, uh, um, uh, yeah, and just using one part of yourself when usually you'd use everything. Um, it seems more weirdly heightened, um, but Will is great. He's super great. And the few times I did get a chuckle, I was like, yes. Um, and also, and it, I think it's weird too, because you film, you tape it alone. So then to see it and see everyone together, that's like the best bit. I found it really moving. I knew that I found it moving uh, when I read it, but at the end I was very, very moved. Um, and also I didn't know they were going to use actual Beatrix Potter images, uh, sort of animated to move, um, which was lovely. Full on, can that be one? Um, fun and adventurous. I'm a big fan of jumping out at people, but when people jump out at me, hate it, can't stand it, because it really shakes me to my core. <laughs> Do you know what a pea or a potato, so versatile, much like carrots, roasted, boiled, steamed, I mean, you wouldn't really steam a potato, mash, great, so great.
I'm a city mouse with a country longing. It was always either monkeys or dolphins. And I did recently see some dolphins. And really, there is nothing like seeing dolphins in the ocean. It's quite moving. And rabbits. <laughs>